Ice Camera Action. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, my friends. As you can see, I have my trusty forensics investigator gloves on, so I don't leave any forensics juice behind, which ironically isn't talked about in the SANS class. But anyways, I'm getting off track. It took me about a week or so, but I finally made it through the first book of digital forensics and advanced data triage. So this course takes us through a case where a tech engineer was hired into a high profile company guys and after two weeks of being hired on he just happened to go on vacation with his family to disney world and what happened while he was in disney world would you believe it his house gets broken into and his company laptop doesn't get stolen but it gets accessed how weird is that but anyways, let's not poke holes into the story. So the cops arrive on scene and this high profile company sends out a digital investigator to the house. And this is where we begin our core focus on Windows forensics, mounting disk images, memory file systems, and triage acquisition. Now, what the heck does any of that mean? We'll go over that in a second, but the questions we have to answer or keep in mind are, was the company laptop accessed during this home break-in? When and how did any file system access occur? What files and folders were accessed or opened? And did this tech engineer have access to any sensitive or juicy projects and was any data stolen off of this laptop via usb cloud external hard drive what have you and finally can we identify the threat actor who was accessing this laptop for trade secrets so that's the scenario that we have to go through so what are some tools that are going to help us in this first section of digital forensics well first there's memory acquisition we need to think about and to do that we're going to use magnetic ram capture that will capture the evidence straight out of memory for us and turn it into a rar file and then we need to check for disk and volume encryption and to do that we can use a tool called encrypted disk detector and then once we find out if any volumes or disks are encrypted we'll jump into creating a quick triage image of the system and to do that we'll use a program called cape so once we have that we can then begin our preliminary analysis of the triage image and then we can image the entire hard drive if your timeline permits because imaging the entire hard drive and analyzing that could take a long time. That's why we start off with first the most volatile memory acquisition. Then we'll jump into checking for disk encryptions and creating a quick triage image. But also to do an entire hard drive image, we could use a program called FTK Imager. But let's break down analyzing RAM. So to do that, we would take the capture file, which is a RAR file from magnetic RAM capture and import it into a program called Axiom, which is an amazing tool, guys. If you haven't seen it, check it out. This course only gives us a 90 day free trial for $10,000. You would think you would get some free tools out of that. But anyways, I have no idea how much Axiom costs to begin with. It's probably thousands of dollars because it's a super fancy tool set. But anyways, you import your RAR file from the RAM capture and bam, you can start your data stream carving. And data stream carving is covered in this first book. And all that is, is extracting fragments from memory, page files, unallocated, as well as allocated spaces, meaning URLs, private URLs, chat sessions, emails, encrypted keys, 
things like that. That is data stream carving. We also need to do file carving, which again is extracting files from memory. But this time it's looking for file extensions such as .docx, like Word, Excel, PDF, images like PNG, JPEG, zip files, media files like WMV. That would be your file carving. And that's what these exercises in workbook one covers. For example, I don't know if you can see this, but it walks you through triage imaging with CAPE. It also walks you through how to use magnetic RAM capture to capture data out of memory and it saves it in a RAR file. And then from there, you'll import it into Axiom and begin opening a new forensics case inside of there and analyzing the data. So basically we're talking about triaging the disk and memory for evidence with a specific tool set. And then we'll jump into the next book, which is how to analyze the registry, how to look for specific files when things were accessed through the registry, application execution and cloud storage forensics. But to keep this video from being any more boring than it has to be for you guys, hit me up in the comment section below, find me on Discord, support the channel by becoming a Patreon, and let me know if you want to see any specific tool usage or anything we just talked about. And until the next video, or until my rent bounces and I can't put out any more videos, I appreciate everyone on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out there on the hunt. Thank you.